So, for the last several months, I've been preparing for this moment, this moment right here. I've, I've been eating better. I've gotten in myself, myself in probably the best shape I've been in my life since I wrestled in college. I have surrounded myself with a conglomerate of talent because they said you are a reflection of the people you hang around, the five to ten people you hang around. So I hang around Atpac, I hang around my family, so on and so forth. I have prepared myself for this audition. I have, by trial and error, I have auditioned, got called back, got first refusal, and then got released. I have auditioned and got called back and didn't get called back after. I have auditioned and not got called back. I have auditioned, got called back, got first refusal, and got booked. The balance of which has prepared me, the ebb and flow, the thick skin that I've de developed, a combination of adamantium and vibranium. Throw in some titanium, and that's the type of skin I have developed for the rejection, the rejection, the rejection, no matter how well I've done, no matter what my performances were like, I have been poised for this moment right here. I even got coaching. I got some coaching. One coach, two coach, three coaches. I solicited advice. I looked at the videos. I watched others and paid attention for this moment right here. So I walked into the casting room. I walked into the casting room. Chin held high. Shoulders square and broad, chest poked out, arms bulging like they say I need a concealed carry card for each one of them. Straightforward, power walking into the casting room. I put down my resume, I put down my headshot, and I waited. I looked around at all the men around me. There were various shapes, sizes, ethnic groups, education, experience all around me. I saw them. And I smirked. Because I knew I was the best man in the audition. I knew that this role was for me. And I was somewhere near last. And I watched one man go in and come out and go. I got watched another man and another man and another five men and another ten men. And I watched them all go. I watched them all go with that dejected look like they knew they didn't get it. And then finally, finally it was my turn. They called my name. My name was called and I walked in. And the casting director looked at me, asked my name, asked me to tell, tell, my, tell more about myself. And so I did. And I elucidated because I'm a cocky dude like that. And I said everything. And then it began time to audition. And I auditioned. And I got called back. And I got called back. Because for reoccurring roles, major roles, you have to do more than one audition. And after the sixth audition, I got the call, first refusal, and then I booked it. But this wasn't a role for a movie or TV show and anything like that. My role was to be with her. And her to be with me. She was the cast director. I was the actor, but I wasn't acting. I was simply meant for the role to be with her and her with me. My greatest audition will lead us to my greatest role ever. And this is my poem. My name is Jim and I'm with Act Pack and I'm out.